Okay, so we're doing a formal commentary for this one because this is the kind of thing that I really think we need to go through in a few takes. I can't do this in one take. It's such a big statement and it's such a big idea here that we really need to dissect this properly. So yesterday we had ourselves this statement made. Jack Eichel's agents have issued the following statement and this happened like yesterday in the evening. It was a really big deal. Earlier today as well, we had Elliot Friedman and Jeff Merrick come out with the newest 31 Thoughts podcast episode, and this entire episode was an interview they did with Dr. Chaz Prosmak, who was a part of Jack Eichel's medical team, who explained to Friedman and Merrick the entire disc replacement surgery, why Eichel wanted to do it, and he gave some insight into a potential procedure. When they recorded the episode yesterday evening, Eichel's statement hadn't been released, so that was why the entire 31 Thoughts podcast episode really kind of had its mojo taken away, as they were not aware the statement was coming soon afterwards. The studies and cases Dr. Prusmak referenced were in the podcast link. Hopefully this provides some clarity into the medical debate surrounding the situation. Buffalo, as it has generally done throughout this process, has not commented. But this isn't about choosing sides as much as it is about learning the issue. Hope you all enjoy. We're not going to be talking about the podcast episode and what exactly is discussed in the episode here today. I wanted to focus mostly just on the statement, because this happened yesterday. I had some time to digest it and really go over what I feel about this entire situation here. So let's read it. But before we do that, we need to talk about one more set of quotes beforehand. This is what GM Kevin Adams said about the Eichel trade talks two days ago. This is kind of the entire reason we even had the agents make a statement yesterday is because of what Kevin Adams said on Thursday. What's critically important to make sure is clear is that we are in control of this process. We have a player under contract. We don't feel any pressure. If there's a deal out there that we feel is the right thing for the Buffalo Sabres, that's going to help us improve, whether that's improve right away or improve down the road. Those are all things that weigh we would be open to it. But we're not in a position where we feel like we're just going to do something to do it. That doesn't make any sense. But those conversations are continuing to go. We want players that want to be here, I'll start with that. But we have players on our team that are under contract, and we aren't going to do something if we don't think it makes sense for our franchise. So pretty much what Kevin Adams said two days ago was that, hey, even though we have players that may not want to be here, we want guys who want to be here, Jack Eichel is a guy who is under contract with our team, and we are in control of the situation, and we're not going to make a trade just for the sake of making a trade because he wants out or whatever. We're only going to make a trade if we feel it improves our team. Well, in response to that, this is what Eichel's agent said yesterday. In response to the Sabres statement regarding being in control of the process, Jack Eichel under contract, and other comments, we offer the following response. The process is not working. As previously stated, we fully anticipated a trade by the start of the NHL free agency period, which was about 3-4 days ago. After the agreed-upon and prescribed period for conservative rehabilitation lapsed in early June 2021, it was determined by the Sabres medical staff that a surgical procedure was required. The recommendation by Jack's independent neurosurgeon, other spine specialists consulted, and the surgery Jack feels most comfortable having in order to correct a herniated disc in his neck is to proceed with artificial disc replacement surgery. A further point of concern is that our camp was initially under the impression that the Sabre specialist was in agreement with the artificial disc replacement surgery until that was no longer the case. What is being left out of the discussion is that Jack would be able to play in the NHL for the start of the season pending medical clearance if he were allowed to have the surgery he desires even as of this date. Repeated requests have been made to the Sabres since early June to no avail. This process is stopping Jack from playing in the NHL, and it is not working. From Peter Fish and Peter Donatelli. And so from this statement, we can gather a few things. Okay, firstly, it appears that the Sabres were initially in favor of the surgery at some point in the past. However, at some point in time, that notion changed, and the Sabres were instead more reluctant to proceed with this surgery, again, that in which they initially appeared to have been in favor for. 
Secondly, this is a really big deal. Like, it's honestly a lot bigger than I thought it was when you verbalize it in this certain way. He has a herniated disc, and he needs artificial disc replacement surgery. What they're going to do is they're going to take out that herniated disc and replace it with a completely artificial one, probably made out of metal of some kind, and it's going to go into his spine where the old one, the herniated one, was before. Now, I'm no medical expert. I'm not going to pretend to know what I'm talking about here, but just the sheer magnitude of that kind of surgery, you're taking apart a disc in the guy's spine. No wonder everybody's so concerned about this. I don't know too much about, like, medical procedures and whatnot, but I do know that the spine is important. And having any just slight modification or any slight little movement or displacement of the bones, it could really change things. So, you know, it's a really big procedure. It's definitely understandable to see why they would be reluctant. But at the end of the day, you know, it is kind of strange that they're going back on their word, apparently, after initially being okay with the surgery. Furthermore, the entire notion that he actually would have been able to play at the start of the year if they just allowed him to get the surgery already is another big game changer here as well. What's being left out, yada yada yada, he would have been able to play at the start of the NHL season pending medical clearance if he were allowed to have the surgery he desires even as of this date. Like, that's a really big deal out there. And if that's true, if that is absolutely the case here, oh, if they just allowed the surgery to happen, like, a week ago, he would have been fine to play at the start of the year, then the Sabres bear some responsibility in this. They're going out there and prohibiting this guy from going about what it is that he wants to do, and what? It's costing him training time, it's costing him recovery time, it's costing him potentially a chunk of the NHL season in 2021-2022. Which is why it's so easy to understand why the agent and why Eichel would be super upset as to how this entire thing is being handled, where you're prohibiting the guy from getting a surgery, you thought you were going to get traded earlier this week, but it's not happening, and now the team is going out there on a press conference, Kevin Adams is saying, yeah, we're under control of the situation, we have a player who is under contract with us, the ball is in our court here, we're not going to go down and succumb to any other random team out there and just trade this guy for the sake of trading him, no, we're going to trade him because we feel like we'll be improving our team. But from Eichel and the agent's point of view, it's like, yeah, but we are holding us back from getting the surgery. We would have been able to play in the regular season if we had done the surgery by now, but you guys don't want us to do it. What, are you going to hold on to us a little bit longer? Prohibit this surgery from happening a little bit longer? To the point where Eichel comes back, let's say, in December, January, whatever? This is a really ugly mess right here. And I think... This is just my hypothesis here. I haven't listened to the episode or anything, but maybe Elliot Friedman's new 31 Thoughts podcast episode, which apparently shines more light on the Eichel herniated disc replacement surgery, will give us a little bit more of an idea as to what the nitty-gritty details are. Again, I haven't listened to it yet. There's only so much information we can fit into a 10-minute audio commentary here. But that will definitely be next on the chopping block. Talking about the Eichel surgery, the intricate details of that, and what exactly is happening here with the Sabres and how they're holding back from allowing him to get that surgery. So for Jack Eichel going out there and biting back, you know, Eichel's agents are coming out here. There is no way Eichel doesn't know about this. Like, you know... In the media, they might ask him, oh, did the agent statement have any reflection of how you feel? He's probably going to say no, because it happens like that all the time. Remember Marc-Andre Fleury with the Alan Walsh sword in the back thing from Vegas a year ago? Okay, by the way, just thinking about that now, yeah, definitely a lot bigger now. That kind of thing always happens. Agents speak out on behalf of the players, and the players always say, oh, I didn't know the agents were going to do that. Yeah, you did. Like, you're not going to go out there and fool anybody. You had to have had some form of an impact in those conversations. Just to save face, though, you can portray the agents as the big bad wolf in the media because that's what their job is there for. They're supposed to be there to make things better for you. And if you're able to make things better for your client while taking the fall, you're going to do that. That's what Alan Walsh did a year ago with Flurry. That's what the agents for Eichel are doing now. That's kind of my own opinion about it. You can let me know in the comments if you disagree. But talk to me in the comments in general, though. Just what you think about this entire herniated disc replacement surgery gone wrong. Not even gone wrong, just not gone at all because the Sabres are not allowing it to take place. Talk to me in the comments what you think because this is a really big deal. I hope you enjoyed this Vitaash Rolls 99. And bye.